Queries in an Access Database become much more powerful if you know how to use parameters. I'm using a simple database with only one table. We have 15 employees and we are going to create queries based on that table. Here is the first query. When I try to open it, it says which state do you want from all those employees. Let's say we want Massachusetts. Usually databases are not case sensitive, so lowercase ma is the same as uppercase ma, and it gives me only Massachusetts people. How was that done? If we go to the design screen of this database, Notice that in the first column I put the asterisk, that means all the fields. Then I added the state field again, but did not show it. I clicked the show button off. And in the criteria row, I did not type any specific state, for then it is an inflexible query that will always search for that specific state, but I replaced it with a parameter. I am blowing up my font so you can see it better. Parameters are always inside brackets. Whatever you type in those brackets the machine does not understand. So it will give you a parameter pop-up box that repeats whatever you typed inside the brackets which state. And when you answer that question with MA it will replace this parameter with MA. So from now on, it will always ask you which state do you want. If we want Rhode Island, then we get all the people from Rhode Island. It's a very simple parameter query. The second one is a little fancier. It searches under the last name field. And you can type just one character, two characters, or if you just hit the OK button, it will show you all last names. If I say I want all the last names that start with a C, I get the Clintons and the Carters. If I had typed in the parameter box, the parameter value CL, I would only get the Clintons, of course. And if I would ask all the employees, I just click on OK. How did we get that effect? Each time you work with so-called wildcards, and an asterisk is a wildcard, you have to use the like keyword. Like. And then at the end, I put a literal asterisk, double quotes, asterisk, double quote. And I combine that with a parameter inside the brackets. Which character, characters, or hit OK for all last names. Remember, you can type anything inside those brackets. Just don't type weird characters like a percentage sign or a pound sign, for they mean something for SQL statements. And then we hook on to that parameter the literal asterisk, but we combine those two entities with space ampersand space. The ampersand is a hook operator. It hooks two things together. So whenever you type a C for instance in answer to the parameter question, then you hook onto that C space ampersand space a literal asterisk. And that's what the query does. So when I run it, if I just hit OK, I will get everyone in the database. I can also do that, of course, for date of hires. In my third query, I ask which year of date of hire do you want? So we run the query and which year do you want? Let's say 2013. And I will only get people who were hired in 2013. How, how did we get that effect? We go to that criteria box under date of hire, zoom in, and this time we do 
almost like the opposite. We need a wild card, but in this case, the wild card is at the beginning of the date. So we do like, of course, like keyword, because we are using a wild card. And then double quotes, asterisk double quote, and we hook onto that a parameter, which here, because the year number is always at the end, I have to do the wild card at the beginning. So when we run this, again, we can do the old trick. We can just click OK, and we get all the years. Let's do one more. We want a specific month in the date of hire. Let's say we want January. And notice that that didn't work properly. It took all the dates that start with a 1, so also month 12, 10, 11, etc. We don't want that, of course. So we have to adjust our criteria setting. Like, because we are using a wildcard, then the month is at the beginning in this kind of database. If you are in Europe and you want the month in the middle, we have to adjust this, of course. So this is my parameter question. Space, ampersand, space, and then a literal asterisk. But we have to make sure that when I type a one, that it goes into everything of the day and the months. So how were they separated in my database with a forward slash? So if I type a one, then I go immediately into the forward slash. Asterix and the rest doesn't matter. The day and the year don't matter. So now my parameter is much better. When I say January, I get really only January. In this case, we ask for the month and the year. Let's say month one and year 2013. And we got one person, one 2013. How did we get that setting? You know now that we have two parameter settings. First we ask at the beginning of the date which month. Then we close the month indicator. We take any day. We close the day indicator and we hook onto it our second parameter which full year, and we OK it. This is just one tiny issue in an access database. You want to know much more. So if you want to know how to make queries and things like that, notice that in my CD-ROM, your access to the world, I have also included the parameter filters. But there is much more to access. And if you don't know the other issues, you will be very limited in your work. So I want to make sure that you are able to do much more. Your access to the world can be found at www.genesispc.com.